Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are trying out another user submitted deck. This is again by Turn One Soul Ring on Discord or Adam on on uh, Instagram. Really do appreciate the support and the suggestion. Uh, looking forward to playing this one. I've played it a little bit. I, I ran it through just a couple of test games uh, just to get, a, get an idea for how it played. Uh, and worth noting, I didn't perfect that by any means, so there's going to be some learning going on as we do this, but the idea of this deck is to essentially control the game until you can win off of uh, essentially just drawing a ton of cards. Uh, Jace is really our main win con here, uh, so the idea is once you get this out, you want to be able to draw your the, the rest of your deck uh, and then win on the spot with that. Um, to help us do that, we have things like Whirlwind of Thought and then really the big namesake card here which is the magic mirror uh, if you've not played with this card before it's a kind of silly one but it's a fun one uh, this spell it costs one less to cast for every instant and sorcery card in your graveyard a lot of what you'll see in this early game here is you know card draw a little bit of counter magic but again a little bit of card draw kind of built in with the cycling mechanics so uh, we get to discard some cards and draw some cards discard some cards draw some cards Draw, draw, this uh, on the jump start we're able to discard as well, and then neutralize of course to kind of control a little bit. We also have Shatter the Sky which is going to help us control the game as well, but uh, all of those things once in the graveyard help us cast the Magic Mirror, which we want to do as soon as possible. Uh, essentially you have no maximum hand size and at the beginning of your upkeep you put a knowledge counter on the Magic Mirror and then you draw a card for every counter on it. Uh, so this is kind of exponential draw a little bit, You're you're essentially saying okay, turn after I play it, I'm going to draw an extra card. The turn after that, two extra cards. So you'll be drawing three cards that turn. Uh, not to mention anything else that we draw off of this, as well as Whirlwind of Thought. So really, really cool card for sure. Um, essentially, to help us get there, we've got Narset. Not only does this shut down the draw on the opponent's side of the field, which is really, really nice, uh, depending on the matchup, of course, uh, but it also helps us search out uh, the Magic Mirror, or indeed any card, essentially, in this deck. Uh, so we, we have quite a lot of hits with this, but we kind of get to situationally pull out maybe a shatter if we need it. Maybe we need to leave up a counter spell. We can kind of pull it out with that. Uh, Jace, like I said, is kind of the main win con here. Uh, we do have it as a two of. Really, really nice to have it as a two of, uh, I'll be honest, because having it as a one of is a bit sketchy. If you get against the wrong deck, this can really be a problem. So having two is nice. Narset of the Ancient Way is kind of here to help us control the board a little bit. Uh, gives us some burn, but also kind of helps ramp us as well. Uh, so if we're missing or if we're just, you know, one mana short on this, if we can get Narset down the turn before, we're going to be in good shape there. Uh, this is technically a Kahira deck. I mean, it's it's a free creature, uh, essentially. Uh, this does just give us a way to kind of put something out there to either threaten opposing Planeswalkers uh, or just kind of block as we need it to. Uh, it's not really, you know, the reason behind this deck by any means, but it is kind of a freebie uh, for this list. Uh, as far as lands go, we're only running 24, but again, we're drawing a lot of cards. And the idea here is that this is not going to ever cost nine mana. We really curve out at four or five uh, is kind of the idea here. Uh, but you can kind of look at the mana split. We've got one plains, five island. Of course, naturally, we've got quite a bit here. Uh, one mountain. Four Hollow Fountain, four Steam Vents, four Sacred Foundry, four of the Regrin Trium, and then only a one of Fable Passage, just to be able to search out the lands that we need. Again, this is brought to us by Turn One Soul Ring or Adam on Instagram. Really do appreciate it, buddy. Uh, he's been suggesting a lot of decks for us, and uh, it's been fun. Some of them, uh, a lot of them have actually been really, really nice, uh, which is great. I wouldn't have necessarily expected them to do quite as well as they have, but. Uh, we'll see. This one in playtesting was kind of 50-50. It wasn't 100% great, but that's okay. Uh, keeping an eye on the frame rates here. I know they're dropping a little bit, but hopefully they will stabilize before we get too far in. Uh, if they don't... Oh, they are not, are they? Uh, you know what? As much as I hate to, we're going to concede out. I'm trying to... I try to keep an eye on that frame rate. I know it's a, a bit frustrating to have to concede every once in a while, but... I'd rather have, you know, somewhat enjoyable content for you guys uh, rather than seeing it in 10 frames a second, which feels just absolutely terrible. So cheers to that. 
I uh, just want to thank everybody for the support recently uh, on our website. We're kind of playing around with the website a little bit, learning new features. Um, we, um, I- I'm a web developer personally, uh, and so I have a lot of enthusiasm for doing that kind of thing. Um, we are going to keep this. A little bit light on land, but Thrill is hopefully going to help us get there. Oh, or we just draw it naturally. That helps too. Um, So I'm a web developer naturally. That's kind of my main job. Uh, And so I really enjoy, honestly, just going through and uh, trying to find... Oh, we got a interesting deck here. Uh, We'll just do this and pass. Um, So I actually just enjoy kind of exploring the possibilities with our website and things like that. We do run it through a third party kind of thing. So, Uh, But we found... You know, we get to do with our store, we can do like coupon codes. Uh, We've got a lot of really cool, you know, like little marketing things that we're able to do. Um, And so uh, I think in the near future, we're going to do our best to kind of get coupon codes out for a few people who are like subscribed specifically on uh, things like uh, Patreon or just subscribe to the website. So if you want to go ahead and do that, you're welcome to. You will get discounts eventually, uh, just a heads up. Uh, We've already sent out one just to those subscribed to the website specifically. Uh, And that's just as a little bit of a thank you for for helping us get where we are. We really certainly appreciate it. And so it's kind of nice to to get that support, you know. Uh, We do have to discard a card here. Don't love any of these discards. Let's get rid of Thrill. As much as I like it, um, I don't think it's the card we're going to be playing here. Uh, and it does technically cheapen this for us. Um, we are looking to get to our next land drop, though. That is pretty crucial. <clears throat> um, so the question becomes, do we... Radical idea, discarding like a Narset or a Shatter. Um, I kind of think we do. Uh, we just need to make sure we hit our, our land here. Okay, so we would have gotten it anyway, but now we know for sure. Uh, which is really, really good. Um, do we just shatter? Crocs are probably coming down <clears throat> this next turn. Um, let's drop this. Let's plus up here to kind of get it out of range of this. Uh, and then let's go ahead and set ourselves up. Um, and we'll keep that. We, we do need some land here, so that's good. Um, next turn, we'll see. We may end up shattering. I kind of want them to Croxa, though I guess they can't right now. Um, nice. Kind of glad we held up that shatter, to be honest. Um, we'll get to shatter here. Granted, they will get to put something back on top of their deck, but, uh, that's not really the end of the world. Um, we'll just go ahead and plus here. Uh, we'll choose white. That's fine. And we'll shatter. They get to draw a card and they get to put something back, but uh, worse things have happened. This is an interesting list, actually. This is four color reanimator kind of thing. Uh, pretty interesting. We'll see what they have coming up next turn. Um, coming up, we can just start playing out the magic mirror if we'd like. Uh, That does get us where we need to be. Granted, Nicol Bolas is a bit of a problem. Um, Yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, Pull out our basic. Let's go island there. Huh. Hmm, hmm. So I'm going to do this. Um, They do also get this ability, but uh, I think this is useful. We're going to take the counter spell here. Um, So the question becomes, do we play the counter spell or do we play this out hoping to uh, be able to kill this? I'm going to say, let's go ahead and play this out. Let's be a little bit more proactive. That may be wrong. Uh, Again, we're learning, but... Uh, I'd like to be able to at least threaten this on some level. Uh, and we'll actually discard the neutralize since next turn we're looking to um, uh, play like the magic mirror or something along those lines. They just don't get to draw a card off of the Narset, which is nice. It's essentially a duress. 
um, they don't get to draw a card or anything, which is nice. Um, but yeah, thank you guys all for the support recently is the takeaway. It's been fantastic. Really do appreciate it. <laughs> um, sure. I have to discard a card here. We'll discard Whirlwind. Um, Magic Mirror is going to give us a little bit more long-term value. <laughs> Unfortunately, that means we can't just swing in uh, unless we drew the right card, which we didn't. Uh, I guess we do have the opportunity to do this, though, so let's do that first. Hmm. We're going to take the backup, Jace. I think we kind of have to. Um, maybe we just pass not playing our land as discard fodder. Because uh, they can actually make us discard two cards this turn. So I think that's pretty crucial for us. Do we try and kill this? <laughs> um, hmm. I don't think we're anywhere close to really going off here. I mean, unfortunately, and that's what I will say I learned in just kind of playtesting this a little bit, is that uh, this deck is very slow. Uh, and that's fine. It's a control deck. It's supposed to be slow. But we do have to be very cognizant of... Um, you know, things like this making us discard cards is very, very bad. Certainly, Magic Mirror helps because it's a way for us to draw a lot of extra cards per turn, but it takes time. Um, it doesn't just happen immediately. And unfortunately, they are getting some powerhouses down. We really, really need to shatter this guy. Um... Hmm. Let's opt first. Not gonna help us. Also not gonna help us. Uh, let's do this. Unfortunately, doesn't help too much either way. Um, another magic mirror. Uh. Yeah, unfortunately, I think we're in a bad place here. Um, we're going to start to draw a lot of cards, which is great, but I, I don't think we can do it, uh, to be honest. Eventually, they can just destroy Jace, too, which, I mean, they've got an onboard way to do that, so that's kind of bad. Uh, this is a really interesting deck. Oh, my goodness. Well, yeah, they just definitely win. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and concede out here. They're about to sweep our board. <laughs> yeah, so not great luck on that one. That's okay. Uh, turn one, Soul Ring, don't you worry. We're going to get a win. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like uh, the Magic Mirror thing is really, really sweet when you can get it working. Uh, but unfortunately, it's very difficult to get working. Uh, and I think this deck could benefit from things like Deafening Clarion a little bit. Like two extra sweepers. Just two. Two Deafening Clarion would be precise. Um, we'll keep. It's a little bit of a sketchy keep because we really don't have too much to do early game. But this deck isn't really going to have too much to do early game anyway. So take the opportunity and play out our, uh, our tapped lands here. Not good. Um, let's play out the Steam Vents and we'll pass. Um, I don't know if it's right to turbo Cathartic Reunions out. Um, so that way we can just really, really go ham with, like, uh, getting the magic mirror down as soon as possible. But I lean towards not doing that quite so much. Um, I'm going to put that on the bottom. Okay. Uh, let's play you out and we'll pass. Uh, we'll leave up the counter spell, I think, here. Um, they didn't play anything last turn. Chances are, yeah, they've got something this turn. So go ahead and counter that. Wow, all the tapped lands. Um, let's actually pay two here just so we can play this guy out. Um, it just gives us a blocker. Granted, chances are they're going to play a creature here and pump this up, but I think it's worth it for us to at least try. Um, and yeah, that's the case. That's fine. 
they just hit a land. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna hit the robber. Kind of just don't want them to steal our stuff. Let's get this down. Let's go ahead and activate. See what we get. Um. Wow. As much as I want all of these, we're gonna take the shatter here. And we'll throw down another triumph. Um, they see the shatter coming now, and that's fine. As much as I would love Magic Mirror, I think we have to take the shatter against a Gruul deck. Like, it's pretty important, I think. It just puts them in an awkward place at, you know, at what time do they pull the trigger and just keep playing stuff? Or, you know, what's the, what's the best solution for them? Um, very good. Uh, very good indeed. Uh, we're going to shatter now before they can draw cards. That just seems like the right thing to do. Um, we have another Narset, so we can hopefully find some other pieces to the puzzle here uh, as we get further along. Uh, neutralize. Neutralize is pretty good. Let's go ahead and do this. Oops. There we go. Um, oh, I do want to take this. Um... We're going to take another Shatter. I think we just have to. Um, I think we'll just take the opportunity to play our tapped land here. Um, we can neutralize whatever they decide to do next. Uh, and that way they just have this 3-3 three, three threat. Um, I think the, game, the name of the game right now is just neutralizing what they've got. Um, they have to play stuff out. Otherwise, they're not going to get anywhere. Shatter gives us the opportunity to just... You know, make sure we can kill whatever they're doing. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, so we get to Whirlwind first. Shatter the sky. Ooh, wish we had more land. Um, we'll go ahead and do this. We'll take Magic Mirror. So now we've got the pieces. It's just, can we stay alive long enough? <laughs> Um, that really helps. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Um, this just gives us some life gain, which we desperately will need. Uh, and then let's play out the magic mirror now. All right, all the pieces are in place. It's a matter of can we live long enough? Um, <laughs> that's pro blue, which is obviously a problem for us. Yeah. Question is, do they take out Narset or do they just kill us or start killing us? I think, yeah, that's right to kill us. Okay. We need another Shatter. Like, super, super bad. Um, let's play our land. Discard those two. Okay. Um, hmm. We'll discard the two lands here. We lose next turn if we don't have something to kill this with, uh, is the problem, for the record. Uh, and it's pro blue, so this doesn't work. Hmm. 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 It's kind of our last ditch effort here. It draws us the most cards, right? Yeah. Blech. Nope, doesn't do it. Um, nope, I don't think we... I mean, we just can't get there, right? Um, yeah. So next turn, they just attack in. Oh, oh my goodness. Seriously? One card away. Oh, that feels bad. I guess if we had, like, maybe if we had synchronized that a little bit differently, we could have gotten there. Um, but, man. Yeah. Well, you kind of see what this deck is looking to do at the very least. Um, it's not a perfect list. It's a little bit slow. Pro blue, that is devastating for this deck. My goodness. Um, all right. All right. One more shot. We're going to do this. I believe in us. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, man, I was really hoping we could get there. We had all the, the pieces built up, which was nice. And I think we were right to do all the threat assessment in the beginning um, just to make sure, you know, we could survive until that point. But unfortunately, it just didn't get there. Uh, a couple ops in the hands, Whirlwind of Thoughts and a Mori deck, so my guess is Mutate. Um, we're going to try it. Uh, we do want Shatter really, really bad, but I have hope that we can get there. Uh, let's just do this and we'll pass. Hello. Arthax83, how are you doing? Yep, looks like it is a Mutate deck. Let's go ahead and draw a card here. Don't actually want another Whirlwind. I think right now we're really just digging for Shatter. Narset, hopefully really going to help with that as well. Um, we'll drop that down. And again, we'll pass, leaving up another opt. Um, take the advantage opportunity to just go ahead and play this early. That way we're not stuck on mana in the late game. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and draw. Again, just digging for Shatter. <laughs> I've had three Whirlwinds in the top of our deck. Um, yeah. Feels pretty bad. Unfortunately, this is the risk of a slow deck like this. Um, all right, so can do this, do this. Uh, they will be able to kill Narsa, and that's fine. Um, I fully expect that they will, but we really, really need to dig for that shatter. So that's that shows us the most cards, which is why we did that. Um. If we can draw an untapped land, we can play Whirlwind out next turn, uh, which is just going to help us dig. I honestly don't even know if that's the right play, though. Initially, we really just need to get to the Shatter, because this is a problem. Uh, yeah, they are going to kill Narset, which makes sense. They kind of have to. If they want to continuously draw cards off of this, then they definitely have to. Oh, okay. Still no Shatter, though we do get to play Whirlwind out here. I think we do take the opportunity now. Um, it just bodes well for us next turn. Uh, we will, uh, I mean, theoretically, we're going to last the turn. Um, so 15 life is a lot. I don't think they can kill us to this turn, but we just have to be super, super careful. <laughs> yeah. And we do get to see the power of Narsa in standard right now, I think. Um, obviously... Excuse me. Ooh, burped. Um, ow, Gem Razor. Duh. Um, obviously, it's really important uh, for them to be able to continuously draw cards off of like Dreamtail Heron and things like that. Um, and just off of these little like one, three things. Um, Baby Godzilla. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, obviously, that makes it a target. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, think how many cards they wouldn't be drawing now if uh, if Narset was on the field. Granted, if we get a Shatter the Sky, I mean, we wreck their their whole plan right now. It's just a matter of can we get the Shatter the Sky, which we got, yeah, chances are no. Um, oh, goodness. Let's play you out. I think we're gonna have to thrill, right? Like we have to shock ourselves so we can thrill the possibility. We'll discard this just because we can continuously get that back. And then if we get a shatter and last the turn, ugh. This is my thing is we play to the end of shatter and we've only got four sweepers in the deck. Um, I mean, four is good, but I think in this list where we're really, really banking on the late game, um, we need as many of those as possible. This is nice that we just kind of get the block, hopefully. They may have like a... Uh, I guess not. Um, if they had one untapped mana, I'd be much more worried about a, a Dirge Bat. Because um, they could just mutate on, kill it, and then swing in uh, and win. We'll see. <laughs> Unfortunately, I just don't think this list is very good in best of one, if I'm honest. Um, it's just a bit too slow. That's all. I think maybe just with some reworking. Uh, and again, a couple more sweepers. Uh, I think we'd be okay. Um, I don't like, oh, they do have it. Oh, duh. It costs less to mutate with these guys. Okay. Well, we just lose. Um, so 
I mean, we'll we'll do another video, so we'll actually kind of summarize the thoughts a little bit more in detail then. But um, my initial thought on this deck, it's a bit slow, which is fine because it is a control deck, but it doesn't have the game control that it needs. It's got a lot of draw, which is good um, to hopefully help you get to like those shatters and things like that. But you're subject to the to the deck at that point. You need a little bit more consistency, I think. Um, so a couple of extra like Deafening Clarion, something like that, I think would be good. Uh, regardless, it's fun to just try it out. Turn one Soul Ring. I really do appreciate that you've uh, submitted a deck for us ag once again. Uh, you've submitted quite a few. Uh, so it's great to actually play a user submitted deck and just kind of see how it goes. Normally your decks are great. I got to be honest. This one falls a little short, but... I believe in you. We'll we'll give it another shot. Hopefully we can get another win with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are interested uh, in picking up the proxies for this month, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you would like to pick up some of our awesome basic lands, hopefully you saw an ad for that at the beginning of the video, uh, you can do that at itresolvesmtg.com uh, where we have our online store and things like that. And again, if you would like to subscribe to the website now or uh, subscribe on Patreon, we do have some like coupon code things available uh, that we will be sending out in the near future for especially Patreon people. Since they're supporting us uh, in a monetary way, we'd like to do the same and make sure that, you know, they get a little bit of a deal on things that we're trying to, to push out there for everybody. So that is the plan. Uh, we do really appreciate all the support, though, guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you very soon for part two with this uh, Jeskai Magic Mirror deck. Very, very interesting. Thanks, guys. I'll see you then.